So it says here the mean length of a, uh, of a wood mouse is 8.8 .8 centimeters and standard deviation for them is 0 0.25. The mean length of a deer mouse is 9.6 centimeters and variance, so notice that's different from the standard deviation, variance is 0 0.09. It may be useful to know what the standard deviation is right now because normally in our course we're going to be working with standard deviation. So standard deviation would be square root of 0 0.09 and you will find that that is 0 0.3. Okay, so the standard deviation here is 0 0.3. The lengths of the two types of mice are normally distributed. Sketch a diagram for each distribution on the same scale. So we've got our scale here and we need to draw a bell-shaped curve for each of these. Now, it's telling us sketch, but we need to go for a couple of important things. We need to make sure that the top of um, the bell for the wood mice will be 8.8, .8, okay, so wherever 8.8 .8 is. And also, I need to, because I've got two on the same scale, I need to know which one I'm going to be uh, drawing higher and which one am I going to be drawing flatter. Now. If the standard deviation is quite large, it means the data is more spread out, so the bell shape would be more flattened. If the standard deviation is very narrow, so this one is smaller than this one, this one would, uh, would have a bell shape that appears a little bit higher than the, uh, the one for deer mice. So let's go for wood mice first. So 8.8 .8 centimeters, that's the mean, so that's one important point that we need to focus on, 8.6, 8.7, 8.8, so that's where I made the blue marking here. The other two important points that we're interested in is um, the mean plus three standard deviation and the mean take away three standard deviations. Okay, so that's going to be two other points that I'm going to be interested in in our scale. Okay, so I need to work out what 8.8 .8 take away three times 0 0.25 is, so I'll work that out now. Okay, that is zero, that is 8.05. And I also want to know what 8.8 .8 add three times 0 0.25 is, and that will be 9.55, okay? So I'm gonna make those markings as well, so 8.8, 0 0.5 is there and 9.55 is there. Now, I made these markings because I know most of the data, almost all of it, 99.7 or 99.8%, roughly around that number, all of that would be in that range here. Okay, now I, I won't start doing my bell curve right now. Okay, I want to first work it out for the other one as well, find where the points are for the other one and then think about how I'm going to draw it. So I'll use a different color now. So this time I'm interested in 9.6 take away 3 times 0 0.3. That's going to be 8.7. And I'm also interested in 9.6 plus 3 times 0 0.3. That will be 10.5. So 8.7, which is about here. Uh, the mean is 9.6, which is there, and the other point is 10.5, which is here, okay? Now, remember I said the one with the larger standard deviation will be flatter because it will be more spread out. So what I want to do is I want to, uh, I'm going to start drawing the red bell curve, and then I'm going to do the blue one coming up a little bit higher, okay? So I'm going to mark a point uh, above the 9.6, so about here. Um, I'm going to mark this point and this point, and I'm going to try and draw my bell curve now. Okay, so like that, and like that. Okay, so I, I, I've made an effort, okay, but you can obviously make a better effort than this, but something like a little bit, uh, like a bell. Uh, now I need to do the blue one. Now remember, the blue one had a tighter standard deviation, okay, so this one will come up a little bit higher. So this marking now, I need to make it a little bit higher. So let's go around here, okay? And here and here, okay? And the bell shape from there. Okay, so notice that we've got the bell-shaped curve. 
I've gone to the mean here, the highest point, and mean here, the highest point. This red one is a little bit more flatter, a little bit lower because the standard deviation is bigger. The blue one has a smaller standard deviation, therefore it goes higher. Now here's a question for you to do, just one question. So you have to um, sketch the normal distribution curves on the same scale for these two. So x has mean 13 units and variance 0 0.25, y has mean 12.4 units and variance 0 0.64.